Well, as you all know, for the last several weeks, we've had at least one sermon. We've had articles in the Shepherd's Voice about stewardship, why we give, and why we support Good Shepherd with our time and talent. And many of y'all have seen the recent survey where we said that worship and music and the children's programs and outreach are the things that are most important to us. And I'm here to talk about outreach. But you know, if you look at our, and outreach is so important to us, but if you look at our budget, you see one line for Shepherd's Voice there. But at the same time, we're getting ready to support Room at the Inn, where we host homeless men twice a month. Um, we have fed the hungry at Church Under the Bridge. Uh, we have supported the Backpacks Ministry. Uh, we are involved with this new program at Booger T. Washington. We've also supported God's Pantry, the Hope Center, Mission Lexington, the Dyson Reading Camp, um, our longtime outreach program, the Refuge House on Oldham Avenue, uh, Good Shepherd parishioners deliver meals every week to the hungry uh, through that program. And I, and, and I should remember our Good Shepherd Run, where we gave those proceeds to outreach. And all these things add up to a significant amount of money, but they are off the budget. And my hope is that one, at some point, we can tie the pledge income to outreach, much like we did in uh, at least one of our capital campaigns. And this is kind of where I've ended up. Uh, outreach has got to be so important to me. And I think one of those reasons is I came across a thought from Rudolf Bultmann, a noted New Testament scholar. And Brian assures me that this guy is legit. <laughs> uh, and what it concerns is a, is a, is a reading from Matthew. And uh, John the Baptist was in prison and sent word to find what's going on with this Jesus guy? What's going on out there? And Jesus answered, tell him. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, the poor have the good news preached to them, and blessed is he who takes no offense at me. To me, these words say outreach, and Boltman says, these are the authentic words of Jesus. So I would ask all of us, and I would ask the vestry and Brian when they're considering their budget to think about this as we consider our budget for 2014 and as we fill out those pledge cards uh, in anticipation of uh, Commitment Sunday on October 27th. Thanks. <laughs> 